You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a, a new face on Greater Brockton. I have Maria, and I knew I would botch the last name. I'm not going to try. You could do you it. You say it. Come on. <laughs> it's Mumbler. Okay. Um, is that Haitian? It is uh, French. French. Yes. Yeah. B E L E U R is mm -hmm. the last part of the name. I'll get it eventually. You will. Um, you are from Raising a Reader. I love that name. Tell yeah. us about the group and tell us what, uh, how people in Brockton can benefit. Sure. So I work for Raising a Reader Massachusetts mm -hmm. and we are an evidence-based early literacy organization that works with programs that service families that have young children from the ages of birth till six years old to help them develop, practice, and maintain shared reading habits at home. Okay, and I like the shared part because if you're a parent, my kids are already grown at this point, right. but that was my favorite time of day, okay? There were so many stories I read to my kids and then they read back to me. Sure. Because it started early and um, I think it made them better students overall. I think if you start the foundation, if you're reading to them from day one, right. um, it, it, it it's not osmosis that they get it from, but they, they pick it up. I mean, I know every dinosaur name there ever was because my kids were fascinated with dinosaurs for whatever reason, both boys, yeah. okay? And we, we read everything. And uh, I, I had a son that if he did something wrong and he got sent to his room, he'd read the encyclopedia because wow. he liked to read. Reading. And I, it started that way. So tell us the types of programs that you do. You're, you're based out of the Old Colony Y youth division right yes. here on Main Street. Yes. So where do you offer your programs? There's a couple of things outlined in these nice colorful brochures. So tell us. Yes. So how families are able to receive Raised in a Reader is their children must attend one of the programs that we partner with. Mm -hmm. So our par partners in Brockton vary from the Head Start to the children over at the Gilmore Early Learning Center to families in the EI programs, the Old Colony. So our program is a dual intervention. It comes in two models in a sense. Mm -hmm. The first aspect is every child that is in the program that we partner with receive a bright red bag with four books inside every week. Mm -hmm. And those books, um, those books come in up to 12 languages. So those books are available in up to 12 mm. languages. And it acts like a lend-in library. So every week, let's say uh, that classroom teacher or that lead has a schedule of Monday to Friday. So Monday, I would take the bags home. I would return them on Friday. And then they're rotated with the other children in the classroom. So you can just imagine how many books children are being exposed to during um, their time there, during the academic school year or whatever schedule that they have set. And then the other aspect is, the other model is that we then support that with inviting those families to come to workshops, to educational workshops, to learn some strategies and techniques to best prepare the children for school. And Raising a Reader is not a program that teaches kids necessarily how to read. However, we work with families to understand the importance of practicing dialogic reading. Mm -hmm. And it's a concept that, a powerful concept concept that allows families to have conversations with their children, engage their children in the book, as opposed to sitting the child down and the child's just listening to the words, but rather have them involved and be part of the story and use vocabularies and, you know, help them prepare to enter kindergarten ready um, and tackle the other, the years ahead. Now, you said 12 languages. Would you like to mention them? Yeah, some of those languages are Arabic, Cape Verdean Creole, Portuguese, French, um, many, many, Chinese. Mm. So, and those, those languages, um, we are in a lot of communities in Massachusetts. Brockton is one of them. And we would really cater the, the languages to fit that specific community. So in Brockton, you, would, you could see that we have a lot of Spanish families, mm -hmm. a lot of Portuguese, Haitian, Creole-speaking families. So the French is a really big um, 
big language that we offer and very popular. Um, where are the actual family workshops held? Are they at the Oak Colony Y? No, so we offer the workshops at the partner site a lot of okay. times. So we would offer them wherever the, the bread bags are being rotated, but we also offer them in other community locations for families that might not be able to attend at the partner site due to the hours mm -hmm. or other other things that might get in the way. So we use the Brockton Public Library to do a lot of our workshops. That's what I was going to ask you, and the reason yes. I was going to ask you that is I'm the chair of the board oh, for the awesome, library. So awesome. I uh, sometimes they don't make us aware of everything that's going on in the library. We have lots of wonderful programs, so I'm yes. glad to hear that. Yes. Um, do you do any of the programs like, uh, you know, the Cape Verdean Association has a, a building themselves? I know there's Haitian Community Partners in Brockton. Do you get involved with them? Not yet. We would love to. Okay. We would love to offer this um, this program to their families. Uh, the barrier that we, we encounter is we reach such a young age group and a lot of these centers cater to children that are in school or a little older mm -hmm. when I have tried to reach out. But if they do have children in their program that are between the ages of zero to six, right before they get to kindergarten, we would love to be able to discuss opportunities of collaboration. I mean, I love the book, the red book bag with four books every week. Right. I'm, I'm a book nut. Mm -hmm. I, I started collecting books every place I go. I go on vacation and I, there has to be a bookstore a book. someplace. Sure. Okay. And they're unfortunately few and far between now. The, the big booksellers are gone. The community bookstore isn't around the corner anymore because it's hard to make a living in this age of technology. Yes. But I, you know, there's too much to take your attention away with, right. with TV and media. And I watch three-year-olds and four-year-olds play with cell phones and they can scroll through better than, mm, some right, of them right, can, can scroll through us. better than me, <laughs> for sure. Um, so do you work, um, you know, is, is it professionals? Is it volunteers? Is it a combination? If, if, do, do you have volunteers in your program? We do. We have volunteers. A lot of our volunteers are parents that mm -hmm. have been through the program. We call them parent ambassadors. Okay. And they realize the significance that the program has had on their family, and they return to be able to share their story and share this message of really helping children to read and be introduced to books at such an early age to lay that foundation for later success that um, our parent ambassador team is growing and we are thrilled that they believe in the message and really believe in the concept that they return to volunteer with us. Now, if somebody wanted to get involved or find out more information, what would they do? So if they, would, if they wanted to get involved, um, there's a couple of ways that they can do it. The first is they can go on our website. They can learn more about the program. Mm -hmm. They can reach out to myself. They can also, if their children is part of one of the programs that Raisin Reader is at, it would be much easier to get a hold of me, of course. Okay. Um, so it's just really by contact with to me in the Brockton area and I'll be able to to help them navigate. And if they run a center like a child care center or after school program that has each has children ages zero to six that attend, mm -hmm. that would be a key key place for us to get this program available to those kids. So getting in touch with you, I got the one minute cue. So tell me your phone number, website, whatever information okay. you want to give Yes, me. so they can reach me at five zero eight yeah. eight four six yeah. six eight Eight six three, mm -hmm. and my email is um, a little simple, but yeah, complicated. It's Maria yeah. at raisingareaderma.org. Raisingareaderma. Ma for mass. Yes. org. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do some more with you. We're gonna okay. help you publicize what you do, and maybe we'll come out with a camera sometime and see if that might work out so we can do maybe a video PSA. Oh, that would be great. How's that? That would be Thank amazing. Thank you for coming on. Thank Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.